Alrighty guys, welcome back and today we are going to be taming the Sorato from Arc Editions. Now the Sorato does have a bit of an interesting taming method. So first off, you're going to have to find yourself a Ceratosaurus. Now you can easily find you one by just heading to any plains biome or jungle biome. I'm here on Ragnarok and I have found a couple of them in the area around Green Obel the Green Obelisk. They are not hard to find around here and on the island. Um, yeah, about around the Green Obelisk again. It's just the open plains area. But what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go hunt down a couple of them. And you're going to want to get some Ceratus, Cerato Venom Spines. Now once you have about ten of these, you can craft you one of these. A Hemoglobin Cocktail. And now a Hemoglobin Cocktail is basically going to be what you're going to want to use here to feed your Ceratosaurus. Now, I'm trying to find the one that was around here, and I think I found him. He's over here. Yep, we're going to go find a different one, because he's messing with the Dinotherium. Alrighty, now. I got me a Serato over here, and I've already given my Moss Chop a Hemoglobin Cocktail. So the way you're going to have to do this is, yes, you are going to have to sacrifice a creature like a so. So you'll just leave it there. He'll come up, stuff munching on it like a so. Make sure you do have him whistle past him, so that way they don't run from it. Now, they will get hit back, and as you can see there, he is now 12% drunk. Now, what that means is he's getting the cocktail basically sucked out of our moss chop here. Because he has a bleed effect, and when that effect takes in, he will s slowly get drunk. And, yeah. And once he is 100% drunk here, we should be able to passive feed him. Alright, he is about 90% drunk now. And there's another Serato right over there. Oh, this could go bad. He's 100% drunk. Now that you have this pink effect around him as well, you can walk up, give him prime meat, and as you can see there, on about 5 times taming, on a 35 there, it's about 29%. So you will be here for a hot minute, so I highly suggest you get better creatures than Moss Chops to feed him. I would recommend something tanky like a Stego. Now, he is drunk, that does mean I could also probably feed him more than once in a single session. But that also does mean we do get time to recover the moss chop. So hopefully we can feed him more than once in one single drunken outburst. So it does look like we can feed them multiple times during one drunken outburst. So you, like right now, I bet you could have, ha I could have had this guy pinned up, thrown a moss chop in, and had it done. But I didn't want to take the time to invent a new trap for a Serato, so I'm just showing you guys how to do it. Alrighty guys, so I just fed him for the third time. He's still in the same drunken super. I have not had to break out another moss chop. So it does seem like the drunk effect does last a little bit. And I, that is a good thing. I hope this is only... I really hope this is about a good hour long drunk effect. That'd be perfect. But I highly doubt it. Alrighty guys, final feed. Boom. So there we are. Now we have a Ceratosaurus. Which we will need a saddle for. Now we do have the Serato saddled up, and I do got to say, the saddle is mighty nice. Um, we do got a long, uh, was it, rain on it though, which, I mean, it does look good. I just thought it looks a little long, because we're like way in the back here. But I guess you got to work with those spines up there on the front. But anyways, control-wise on the Serato, you have a left-click left -click bite, a right-click spin attack. And then you also see that running speed bar down there at the bottom. Well, that is basically the main way this thing moves. Now, just like any of the creatures that do have a top speed kind of thing, like the Andrew Sarkis, you will blast through rocks. But this one only takes effect after you're about 75% speed. And the Serato also has this nice little ability. If you stop, you will slide and slide and slide. Now, the faster you're going, the further you will slide, but you do also have this ability. Now, if I can get back up to a running charge, 
and once I am over 75% on the charge again and hold down right click, I will do a horn attack and that will do a bit of a discombobulation to enemies I believe. Now I also do have the other option of once I am up to speed and I try and slide, like a so, I can also hit the right click and boom, we got that little one off. Now I'll show you guys that better again because I did get caught on a rock there as I was sliding. So again, once you are over 75%, turn, slide, oh, is it just me or am I being stupid as I slide? I think that might be me. So, yeah, I'm not doing my slide properly. Uh, yeah, I don't know how to slide. Now, the Ceratosaurus does come in two variants, as you can see here. I do got me uh, the normal variant of this here, one with these nice fine colors on it. If I turn off K mode and we can look around, it's got some nice colors. This is the normal variant of the Serato. And then over here we have the R variant. Now again, I do believe the normal variant uh, things apply to them, like the aberration ones or something are stronger or whatever in certain aspects than they are the normal ones or whatever. Just as the R ones are usually stronger than, say, the normal ones. Now you would find this one, of course, in Rockwell's Garden. And it does have a bit more of a zebra pattern on it. And I also did notice that it also has a different color palette for the front of its face. Alrighty, guys. Well, that's it. We've done. We've done the video. You guys have seen how to do this guy. You've seen its controls. Didn't want to go too fancy into it for you. But anyways, that's going to be it for the video. Now, I do want to say one more thing. The Serato here is the last creature in Ark Editions that will be coming to Ark Survival Evolved. Now this doesn't mean that Ark Editions is no longer going to be worked on. It means that the branch of the mod for Ark Survival Evolved is no longer being worked on. And I can understand why Gruga is doing it. He wants to stop working on Survival Evolved right now so that way he can get things ready. So that way the mod is available as soon as possible to launch a survival evol or survival ascended. I can't remember what these name games are called. He wants it ready as soon as survival ascended drops. So yeah, um, Serato is the last creature coming to Arc Survival Evolved from Arc Editions. Arc Editions is still going on. So don't freak out when you see that news. Arc Editions is still being worked on. It's just not going to be worked on in Arc Survival Evolved. He's moving on to Ark Survival Ascended, so yeah, next time we do one of these creature review videos, it should be in Survival Ascended.